Lieutenant Governor Flanagan, this isn't just rhetoric, right? Republicans are actively funneling this misogyny into legislation, into judicial change. What is your message to those who say, well, th these comments are just a joke? Well, I don't think it's very funny. And I think that there are women across the country who don't think it's funny because these jokes, right, are actually their policy proposals in practice. Let me be really clear uh, that, you know, wh when a woman decides to have a career, much like her decision as to uh, when and if to start a family or to have a child is none of the Republican Party's business. I cannot believe that in 2022, this is the conversation uh, that we're having. And as the mom of a nine-year-old girl, I I am horrified. It's completely unacceptable. Right, especially Lieutenant Governor Flanagan, because we are living through an economic reality where most households need both parents, if there are two parents, to be able to work just to make ends meet, right? You know, and these Republicans, they keep pushing the envelope at rallies. They're rewarded by cheering crowds. What does that tell you? Does it tell you we have a deeper problem than just a failure of leadership, that this is not just members of Congress and people running for political office? I mean, what it tells me is that people, that these Republicans are disconnected from the lives of real people. Here in Minnesota, 51% of our workforce is made up of women. So if women don't participate in the economy, uh, our economy completely falls apart. And let me tell you, uh, I'm the Lieutenant Governor and I'm also a mom. And there are lots of women who are able to have a career and successfully care for and raise their families at the same time. So you don't have to be 100% uh, pro-choice to understand that this rhetoric around uh, simply questioning whether or not women should have careers or really be fully functioning members of society, uh, you know, this is something that we should all be deeply worried about um, because it, again, is just erasing women from this conversation completely.